and welcome to another video. I come to you from Costa Rica where I grew up. I came here for my cousin's wedding that of course has been canceled. <laughs> I've been social distancing since I got here so I haven't seen anyone and we're all officially on quarantine since Monday. So a lot of time on our hands. Um, I am just going to have breakfast. It's the same thing I have every single day. I've showed it about a million times. I won't show you this time. Um, but after that, I think I'm gonna venture into trying to make some focaccia. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can learn to make some together because uh, that'll be fun. <laughs> is in collaboration with Function of Beauty, which is the shampoo and conditioner I've been using for the past year. I love it because I fill out a two minute quiz outlining my hair type, goals, the fragrance, and even color of my shampoo. Of course, Function of Beauty has no parabens, sulfates, GMOs, or toxins, and is 100% vegan and cruelty free. My shampoo and conditioner is purple to keep my hair from going brassy, and I chose the peach and mandarin scent. We all have different hair, so we should be using different products. I chose my shampoo and conditioner to strengthen my hair, replenish, and deeply condition, which I feel like it's done perfectly. I also got the serum, which I'm obsessed with, as it immediately softens my hair, defrizzes it, and it makes it smell wonderful. Best of all is you can use these little pouches to put your products in and travel safely with them, which is exactly what I did so that I could still use my own shampoo and conditioner when I'm in Costa Rica. If you'd like to try out Function of Beauty, you can follow my link in the description box below and get 20% off your first order. So this is what my hair looks like. I washed it today and just let it air dry. Um, I'm very happy with Function of Beauty. It makes my hair so soft and smells really nice. Um, I usually just finish it off with some of the serum. I just put a little bit on my hand and just put it on the ends of my hair and it just smooths it out, um, it makes it smell really nice. And yep, I'm a big fan. Okay, so yeah, that's the one I've been using for a while. We can now go on with our video. <laughs> goodness it has risen heaps um, this apparently makes only one but I'm going to make more than one because I'm not gonna make it as thick um, so yeah that's what we're gonna do I'm gonna put a little bit of oil on the pan now gonna let this rise for 30 minutes and apparently you're just gonna keep on stretching it um, on the sides because it does kind of like shrink with time so that's what I'm going to do and we'll see so this is what it looks like they've been resting for 30 minutes 
Um, I preheated the oven and now I'm gonna do like the little printing of the fingers on them and then add a little bit more um, oil, I think it is, and then put them in the oven. So I'm gonna put these onions. I'm better than I was before. It looks so good, I can't wait to have a little piece. Okay, so here we go, the grand reveal. I'm gonna have a little piece of my focaccia. It looks so nice. Oh. <laughs> Oh, it's so beautiful. Mmm. Ay, no. Qué rico. Uy, qué buena. Mmm. So as I wait for my other focaccia to get out of the oven, um, I thought I would talk about some of the books that I've been reading or that I'm reading, planning on reading um, during quarantine. <laughs> um, the first one is American Gods, which I have spoken about over on my Instagram. Um, I picked it up for free and it is a book that has been recommended to me or that I've heard of for years and when I saw it, I just grabbed it. I didn't think it would be my kind of book, but I'm trying to read different things. And let me tell you, I cannot put it down. Um, I love Neil Gaiman. I love magic realism and I love the way he writes. It always feels like you're reading through like an eerie, dreamy kind of world. So I'm absolutely loving this. It's like a fast paced kind of book, which I think is perfect for right now if you have the time and you want something entertaining. Um, the other book I'm reading, which is <laughs> very different, is Too Much and Not the Mood. Um, again, this was recommended to me by someone over on Instagram. I love it when you guys recommend books to me and this one was just right up my alley. It's a collection of essays. It's a little bit similar to um, Bluettes by Maggie Nelson. It's kind of that style. Um, I'm about to finish it and I've absolutely adored it. I would a thousand percent recommend this one if you've ever resonated with, I guess, the reviews that I give over on Instagram on books that I like. Um, love this one. The other one is Trick Mirror. I've been reading this for the Elf Book Club. I send out a newsletter discussing um, each essay and asking you guys questions. It is a very interesting read, especially right now. Um, it explores this idea of identity in a culture that is obsessed with the self. If you want to read this with me, there's still time. All you have to do is just join the ELSE uh, book club newsletter. I've also been sharing other stuff on my newsletter with this whole quarantine thing. Um, so if you want to just subscribe to a newsletter and get more stuff from me, you can if you're not sick of me. And then I brought a few books with me from Australia because um, I just always travel with books. <laughs> my suitcase was definitely overweight and I knew that it was because of my books, thank goodness. Um, the woman there was really kind and she liked me and she let me go. Um, but I brought other books and what I'm thinking about reading next once I finish those is Educated. I bought this a very long time ago for some reason. I just haven't picked it up. And yeah, the books that I brought with me are books that I've been meaning to read for the longest time. And I just thought that if I brought them with me, I'd just do it rather than keep on buying other books. <laughs> and then this one seems like a fast paced one, an entertaining one. Um, I heard about it a while ago. Seems like the kind of book that you'd want to read during quarantine. <laughs> 
it's uh, something to escape the current situation. Um, so yeah, that is what I'm reading. Um, okay, let's go check on my focaccia, I think. It has like four minutes to go. Now that the oven's on, I think what I'm going to do is I have a whole cauliflower in the fridge. I might as well just bake that whole thing now that the oven is hot. So I'm gonna make a little sauce, I don't know, with whatever I have in the fridge, and we're gonna put that in the oven. I've never made one of these before, but you know, we're doing all new things today. <laughs> taken it out of the oven and this is what it looks like. Um, I'm gonna let it rest for a little moment and then have it for dinner. All the good things you still have Cause there will be another There will be another one Something new to fall into It'll be a better one have eaten about a whole loaf of focaccia so I'm gonna keep it light for dinner and just have the cauliflower and the salad and another little piece of focaccia bad ones will do mm. so remember that as they happen to you oh no 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 this isn't some little sad song or a cold Shoulder dear for your tears to freeze on It hurts to lose something you can't have bad But take a good look around at all the good things you still have Cause there will be another There will be another one Something new to fall into and it'll be a better one there will be another 